Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a huge recent pickups video for you guys. I'm so excited for you to see what I got, and can't wait to hear what you think of it as well. If you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe, that would mean so, so much to me. These clothes are kind of with a vision of looking forward towards like the summery months. Before I get stuck in, I have done a new blog post, finally, over on Galax.com. I feel like I've not done a blog post in ages, but I've done a New York City guide. I did one when I went to LA, so I thought I'd do a roundup of New York as well. So if you are planning on going to New York and you want to go to some of the places that I went to, or you want to recommend, recommendations for shopping, where to eat and what to do, then head over to galax.com. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. And don't forget, all the pieces in today's recent pickups video will be linked in the description below as well, with some alternatives for the more pricey pieces. And I'd love to know which your favourite was out of the pickups today, so definitely leave a comment below and I try and get back to as many people as possible, so it really means a lot to me. Um, let's get into these pickups. So to kick things off, the first two pickups, great, great for summer. Going on that splice tea trend, I'm wearing one right now. The other one's quite similar, so I thought I'd show them together. But they're both from ASOS, and they're both spliced tees with metal print. I'll leave links to them in the description below because I think these are sick. They're from the Reclaim Vintage section. They're like 30 quid each. Um, so if you've got a student discount, it'll be like 27. And they're just so, so nice. Like the colorway of the one that I'm wearing, I absolutely love. Although it, do, it is so spliced that like the tee is like offset. So I was wearing it tucked in a bit because it looked, I felt like it looked like I had like some kind of collar like a Vickers collar, which I didn't want. But you tell me, is it better this way, or with it tucked in a bit? But I do like that it's actually two t-shirts like offset against each other, rather than like just a, a t-shirt with like two side prints. It's genuinely like two t-shirts have just been stitched together, which I really, really like. This black and white one has more like Zodiac and stuff like that. And then this one is two like metal tees. It's just like, I don't think these are actually bands. I think they're just like inspired metal tees. Let me know if they are from any bands though, but because otherwise I'm gonna get loads of comments about people like, you don't listen to that band, you don't listen to that band, la 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 la, blah 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 blah. I got them both in a size large, and for everyone always asking, I'm six foot one, I'm like 183 centimeters tall, so that's why I always buy large because I like things quite oversized. So yeah, I'll show you what these look like on. Now next up is a piece from H&M. This year H&M Studios collection was available to buy straight away. So I think I saw the collection, I can't remember I saw it now, and I was like, that coat is so, so nice and sick for summer as well, because it's like really lightweight. It's like a pinstripe, really long kind of overcoat. It was quite pricey, it was 120. It's because it's from their studio collection, which is like their runaway kind of thing. I think with shorts and a t-shirt in summer, like this is gonna look sick. I really, really like it. Got it in a 42 regular. I don't really know what that means. I never know what it means when it's like 42 regular and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of just wing it. Um, but it fits fine, so that's great. I'll show you what it looks like on. Now, if you watch my outfit diary for New York, you would have seen some pieces, some newer pieces that I got. One of them being this red overcoat from Nid de now, if you guys didn't know already, but I love NDG. Nitty Gap is like one of my favorite brands. They very kindly sent me this overcoat and a pair of denim, which I'll show you in a second. This like ox blood is so, so nice. I think this is like a transition color as well. I think it's gonna be good in summer and also go through to winter. Now this is more on the pricey side at 390 euros. So I will put some affordable alternative kind of thing in the description below as well. They do do other colorways in it, which is so, so nice. If you've not seen NDG's new stuff, you should definitely check it out because it's sick. I got this in a large just because like I said, oversized be wearing layers underneath it as well. So yeah, I will show you what it looks like on. Really quickly, here is the denim. Biker-esque, not fully biker, because I don't think anywhere there's full biker jeans anymore, thank God. But they just have like some slight panelling on them, which is really nice. And no distressing for once in a while. I do still love distressed jeans, but it's just nice to have a pair that aren't distressed. Especially when I was in New York as well and it was freezing. So it was nice to have a pair of jeans that didn't have holes in them. I got these in a large, which is a 32. Now the next piece, you guys might have seen a lot. It was in the shopping vlog. It wasn't in the outfit diary, it was in the shopping vlog because I got it on the second to last day. And it is a hoodie from Daniel Patrick. It's acid wash and it's literally one of my most favorite things at the moment. I keep wearing it all the time. In fact, I'm literally, so I'm just gonna put it on now. I got it in a size large because it's just a really, really nice fit. It's a really thick kind of material as well. It was around $220, I think. Let me 
But yeah, all of Daniel Patrick's hoodies just fit so, so nicely. Like, the hood doesn't collapse at all, which is really, really nice. Really, really like the fit and the shape of it. It's quite boxy, like the sleeve starts here. But yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But I'll show you in a full outfit as well what it looks like on. So in the shopping vlog, Anime Outfit Diary, I featured this, and this is my absolute dream outfit. Like, I'm obsessed with it, it's so, so nice. I think a lot of you guys really like it as well in the Outfit Diary, so I just wanted to give it a bit of a moment. It is the Daniel Patrick track jacket with the yellow stripes down the side. Also, there's matching trousers as well. I'm kind of wearing them now, just out of pure comfort. I wouldn't normally wear them with this hoodie. You guys can't see my lower half when I film anyway. I can just be wearing pants for all you know. The fit and the quality of Daniel Patrick is so nice, so I can't stress enough, like, how how nice this brand actually is. I think going to the store was really important for me as well because it kind of gave me an idea of like the brand as well. By just going on the website, you get a little bit, but being in the store, you kind of understand a lot more. Size-wise, I got a large in the track jacket. I think I got a medium in the pants. I'll double check. Um, and I'll write it in the description below just to make sure. Um, but I will show you this full fit, what it looks like on. Now moving on to the last brand, the last two items, it is Represent. I wanted to try some of their new Stomper, I think it's called Stomper Collection. I am more favourable of Represent's accessories, like their backpacks and their shoes and stuff, because I've got a suede backpack and a suede pair of Chelsea boots that I've worn for literally ages. I'm always a bit umming and ahhing about their clothes, and this hoodie actually, I love, I do love this hoodie, I love the colour, I love the shape, I'm just like, the hood is like, really big, compared to the Daniel Patrick hood, like this hood stays up, whereas this hood like, flops down loads. It's just, it's personal preference literally because, you know, some people won't care about the hood but I kind of care about it, I don't know why. I like that kind of structure within the material. It is a really nice piece though and it does fit really nicely. Again, Oxblood, loving the Oxblood colour. Yeah, this is 120 and I got it in a large. Um, I will show you what it looks like on. And finally, you cannot judge me because I'm like a magpie. I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna try it. Like, why not? Um, especially for summer, I think this will be sick. Definitely at festivals and stuff like that. Maybe not like day to day, but I, I got this windbreaker that's like full on foil. This is 175 on the represent side. I got it in um, a large. I just think it's really, really sick. I don't have any metallic foil pieces. It is a bit like glitzy, but I just think it's, Awesome, like it's so much fun to wear this as well. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I reckon this is a Marmite thing. People are either gonna love it or people are gonna hate it. Yeah, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Anyway, I think it's sick. I'm pro I'm gonna wear it quite a lot in the summer, so if you get blinded on the street by someone, it's probably me wearing it. And I'll show you what it looks like on. That was my huge recent pickups. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to let me know your favourite one in the comments down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. That would mean so, so much to me. If you haven't turned notifications on, don't forget to click that bell. That was so cheesy. Click that bell. Uh, I've got a really exciting affordable alternatives video coming up on Sunday. So definitely check back Sunday for that. Also, I've got a really, really exciting project coming soon. And it's to do with my own clothing. So if you are interested in that, uh, yeah, got something to look forward to. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.